The annoying difficulty. Fundy's new mod where every single thing is as frustrating as possible. Can I open a chest? No. Can I break wood? No. Can I walk? Just walk on grass. No. Can I hold this single golden apple? Fundy was so confident that nobody could beat this mod that he put a thousand dollars on the line. And that was a huge mistake. So I destroyed it. Day one was all about coming up with strategies. The first thing we noticed was how long it took to clear the pop-up tips. These pop up when you craft, take damage, or even touch water. Fucking hell. We needed a strategy. Follow me. Everyone knows that GUI scale in your settings increases the size of your inventory and your hotbar, but it also increased the size of the pop-ups. Once we increased our GUI to max, the ads that were off the screen got deleted when we sized back down. This was a crazy time set, but the strap went further. Instead of making the ads bigger to go outside the screen area, we just made the window smaller. Shrinking our window to a tiny size allowed us to remove almost every pop-up from the screen with just one click. This strategy saved us hours. Within just 24 hours, I played on a single world for long enough to find the end portal. And when you get here, well, this can happen. There's no way to stop this annoying eye break stuff, but I did a lot of math to tell you how many eyes you need, and it pretty much is just about 15. We entered the end, we died, oh, we whoops. came all the way back, and then... I crashed! I fucking killed the dragon and it crashed! World's least climactic ending ever! Let's go! Six hours, 49 minutes! Okay! But Fulham, there's eight minutes left in the video. You've already beaten the difficulty. I didn't tell you I beat the difficulty. I told you I destroyed it. The Discord mods confirmed that both chunk base and auto clickers were allowed. With chunk base, we can analyze the entire seed really quickly. Remember, the two main things that we need for this run are ender pearls and blaze rods. Bastions wouldn't work because of the gold weighing enough to squish you. Boats turn endermen into pirates. So that left only one strategy, villager trading. Once you level up a cleric to expert, they can sometimes trade you ender pearls. But rather than using a village, our main strategy was to find an igloo. These structures always seem pretty irrelevant to the average player, but it really helps with speedruns. Curing the villager at the bottom of the igloo allows you to have discounted trades, trading just one emerald for one ender pearl. On the way to the igloo, we grabbed a bunch of buried treasures. These are great for iron, diamonds, emeralds, and food, and even gold. Even though the gold kills you if you hold it for too long, this is where we use a boat with chest to store it while we travel into the Tiniest igloo. ice pathway down. With just a few emeralds and a few gold, we already have enough pearls for the end of the game. Now for the blaze rods. So time to look for lava. Oh. We need a strategy. Luckily, this strategy was really easy to come up with. Using the realistic furnaces, which require you to heat them up, if you overheat the furnaces, they explode and spawn in lava. Perfect, let's make a portal. Oh, buckets leak. It's almost like Fundy made this as annoying as possible. But a strategy to overcome this was to use a water bucket with a fish inside. These buckets can't leak, so this let us create the portal perfectly. Using oh, chunk base, we were able to find the fortress. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Might spawn on the fortress, maybe. Oh, for a lava lay! And we just have to deal with the blazes, which have auto-aim fireballs. One super cool strategy we found was to create armor stands to block the fireballs before they hit us. It kind of took quite a long time to set up though, so instead, by filling our inventory as much as possible, this squished our hitbox to make us super hard to hit. And it allowed us to hop through these one block gaps, so the fireballs honestly usually missed us. Some squeeze through and damage us, but we can try and survive on the food that we have from the buried treasures. We've had strategies for almost every part of this mod, but one thing will instill terror into anyone that tried to beat this difficulty this guy. Seemingly innocent, he simply walks up to you, don't makes you follow him for a while, and anymore. then you get an item. Cool. Oh, but if you don't follow him, he teleports you. 
And he can walk through walls. Well, he can fly he over lava. He will mess up a run <laughs> instantly. Yeah, man. And he just spawned on my. No, fortress. no, 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 no. What happened? I'm Twenty minutes at the blaze spawner with three, and I don't know where this quest master guy is. Oh. Uh... Well, this is a legitimately oh, 500. Yes! yes. Oh, holy corner. shit! <laughs> Fucking shit! He was. He teleported me on the edge of this block. The, 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 wow! That's uh, insane. <laughs> oh, and you thought that was it? No, because he spawned I again! <laughs> if I could see him just like walking down the path, I'd go and like trigger him, you know? If you. If you no, get the he's right behind me. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Actually, this could be fine. No! Don't walk me to the oh. second spawner! No, no, no! Ah! Fuck! Okay, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. You gotta, I'm alive. You gotta oh kill these God. guys. Oh. Okay, <laughs> alright, it's fine. I'm alive. How have I not died here? I don't understand. Wait, another guy here. Eight? Another yeah, guy yeah. here. Ah! Ah! Run! With the blaze rods, we're finally out of the nether and on pretty good pace. We find the stronghold, and even though the quest master tries to kill me again, we just want to have that on our clipboard for when the quest master inevitably teleports us in like. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I, I didn't realize he was uh he was summoned. Oh yeah! I survived. Uh, After these stupid eyes break a stupid amount of times, the fine. end portal is finally lit. Oh nice. Now I'd already beaten the game once in six hours, but this time I was at the end portal in just 35 minutes. 34. 34. Ooh, That's gonna be it's gonna close. be close. It's gonna be close. I gotta organize my inventory too. It's 3443. This so. was particularly important because just a few days earlier, my friend Molly G had beaten the game in just 39 minutes and 17 seconds. Good no, day, you gotta bro. play aggro as fuck. I yeah, step that and then you play oh, aggro. Man. Yeah. Okay. So I had to finish the game in okay, the let's, next let's three minutes. This. And the end fight is not easy. If you don't know about the end fight in this mod, every enderman is automatically angry at you in boats that can travel faster than you can run. And you have to play Dance Dance Revolution the entire time, as well as to beat the ender dragon. Literally, if you miss a note, you take damage. And this is what it came down to. So what else can I rely on but my own family? Ugh. All right, I'm gonna ask. I call my stepdad to come I'm and ready. sit beside me. You ready? Go ahead. While I'm beating the Ender Dragon, he is the one clicking the arrow keys as we enter the end. That seemed fast. Oh my god. <laughs> Two seconds. And that was it. We destroyed the annoying difficulty. 
And yes. Bundy called me up a few months later to say this. Both of you at one point have had, you know, the best time. And as pleasing to you both as possible, where you just simply both win. And I don't mean you share the price. I just mean I throw in an extra thousand bucks. Obviously, a massive thank you to Fundy and also a really, really well played to Moly. He actually got the record back literally about 12 hours after me. So I'm really glad we were able to both share the prize in this. Also, please hit subscribe. I really want to try and get to 10K this year. And also, all of these efforts were live streamed on my Twitch. You can follow it in the description. Bye.